So the question is, how would I go about doing a photo study? Hmm, I don't know. Let's let's go for it and see what happens. Uh, um, um, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so the first thing I would do is kind of look at my reference and establish some major shapes that I can quickly look at. So I'm just going to make a quick white layer. Um, and some shapes that I look at um, at their most simplified version is like, okay, so the head kind of makes like a rectangle, right? Right, so we have that. We have this triangle here. We have another triangle there. And it's important to look at things in terms of shapes, simple shapes. So another triangle here, there, there. And then like this makes a triangle, then you subdivide that into further triangles, etc. right? And there's a triangle here. <clears throat> um, and then this over here sort of becomes a little trapezoid looking thing. And then we got, wait, not a trapezoid, a rhombus? I don't know geometry. Um, so yeah, you kind of uh, train yourself to, and it, it takes a while, a little bit of practice, but if you're able to look at things in simplified shapes, almost like polygons, if you work in 3D, um, so that when you're looking at your reference, you can kind of piece everything together like a puzzle. Um, like this could, uh, although this has like a round thing and it, whatever, it gets complicated when you start curving your lines. So I would just make that a, a rectangle. Um, and it's all, all make more sense once I start painting. Um, and you know, there, there are more like obscure looking shapes like this one on the right. It doesn't matter. Just, you know, the, the main thing is to pick up the main shapes to build off of. Um, and then so this is sort of a triangle. Yeah, kind of. Um, and then this is one big triangle. Um, ribbons over here. Uh, and then we'll work. Uh, and then, yeah, it's one triangle building off of the next. So let me just go ahead and turn off the the reference layer. And if I was to like look at this and copy it, I mean, I could do it, right? I mean, this is a triangle. And over here, let, I mean, not a triangle. It's a rectangle. And okay, I'll put a rectangle here. Um, and below that is a triangle. Okay, that's something like this. And then so on and so forth. And you kind of, I'm not, this is not my process, but I'm saying this is kind of how I'm thinking while I'm um, drawing directly from the reference. Like this is kind of what my brain is seeing. Uh, <clears throat> and it'll all make sense momentarily. Um, so, I mean, if you can nail down the ability to uh, simplify your reference into shapes like this, you can easily look at anything and break it down to a few shapes and uh, effectively uh, be pretty accurate. Now, I'm not really one for accuracy. I'd rather get like the feel of most things and how they look. Um, that's just more interesting to me. And so if we turn off that white layer and bring that down and we can you know, it's like, okay, well, we know the face goes over here, right? Because it fits in that triangle. Uh, I keep saying triangle when I mean rectangle, all right? And so, and then like, okay, that's the sternocleidomastoid muscle of the neck, right? And we have the hair ribbons over here. Um, and look at this. this, this shape makes up the hand, right? Boom, booyah, bada bing, bada boom, all right? And it makes it look like you know what you're doing when in reality you're just copying very simple shapes and in a way cheating. But we don't want to tell people that. All right, and so, yeah, and this, uh, someone's calling me. Hold on. Hello? Tommy! <laughs> What's up, man? Uh, yeah, you called earlier and I missed your uh, call. Where, wait, what are you doing right now? I am doing nothing really. Wait, were you having dinner with that girl? What girl? That, the one you sent me pictures of. Well, that's, that's a racing model from Korea. <laughs> yeah, what was that all about? Do you really believe that? 
Yes, I, I believe that. I don't know. I believe everything you tell me. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, I'm actually uh, recording a, a video right now, um, so I don't know if I can really talk. For... Well, yeah, that's what I am doing. I'm, you know, I'm just doing a quick tutorial on how to do a, a photo study. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Call, call me tomorrow, though. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. All right, dude. Yeah, okay. All right. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. All right, okay. Um, so yeah, we can, um, we see how all the these things fit perfectly into these shapes that we, you know, just placed in very easily. And it's not a big secret. It's just like, okay, draw those shapes and um, make the rest of the stuff fit right in. Um, and... Let me just speed this up. Um, and then, like, you can take it even further. Um, and when you're, you know, being more specific with the face, and this comes a lot in, uh, when you're trying to get likeness. So we established that this was the rectangle, right? Um, and then you start looking for subdivisions within that. So there's a triangle there, a triangle there. Um, this is definitely a triangle, right? Um, and the rest gets a bit complicated, but if you have seen my other video about faces, we know that uh, from the eyebrows to the chin, it's actually divided in almost thirds. So if we, uh, you know, just make a divide this area into thirds. So here's the here's one third, two thirds, three thirds. Um, so the eyebrows are there, the nose is usually around that middle part, and then the mouth is there. Uh, it's not always the same, but it's uh, something to remember. Um, and then in, in the middle of this is you have the eyes. So if you kind of remember that when you are transferring over the content, it, it should be easier. And then so, yeah, triangle here. Uh, this is sort of a triangle. And you try to simplify it down to the most basic uh, stuff, right? And etc. But I'm not going to do that for now. Um, instead, I'm going to turn this off and kind of go at it um, like the, the way I normally would and then uh, hope that it looks uh, decently accurate. And so, yeah, we have that, that first rectangle. And so, yeah, when I actually do this, it's really loose and sketchy, none of it looks good until the end, right? Um, so it's something like that. Um, I know the mouth is somewhere over here. I got the nose over there. I got the eyes here. Uh, eyebrows. And we can like, remember when I said it was third, so you have one, two, three, four. The fourth line makes it thirds. So yeah, that's like, that's right there, right? And then, um, you know, you got that triangle. You know, fill it in with stuff. And we got that stuff going on up here and it's gonna and it gets really messy when I whenever I go about doing this kind of stuff um, and it, it doesn't matter if it looks bad right away because you're gonna work on top of it and paint right so who cares if it looks all ridiculous in the beginning and so yeah this is um, this is it this is how it's happening um, today's Friday it's a good day. How are you guys doing? Well, if you're watching this, I can't. I guess you can't really respond. Um, I wonder if I'll live stream sometime. I really don't have time to do stuff as much as I used to, because uh, between work, personal art, reading, you know, trying to take over the world, it really takes a uh, a lot of time out of my schedule. So. Especially the last one. Um, so yeah, like it, if you sort of blur your eyes, you can see it coming together. Uh, you know, but y you and I know that it's just you know filling in these little shapes, and um, that's what the audience doesn't really know because they didn't watch this video. Um, 
the audience meaning the people looking at your art. All right, so triangle after triangle after triangle. I mean, look at that. Like this right here, it just goes here. Done, right? Um, and then you start to pick up on relativity. So if you know a triangle is here, you know that this triangle is going to be sort of distant from the f where you placed it. So um, that actually frames what that hand will go in, right? Yeah, something like that. Uh, yeah. And of course, uh, you know, after doing this after a while, I mean, I don't always measure things out like this, but uh, after a while you can uh, give it a bit of you know, uh, liberty and um, add your own personal taste to stylizing the the painting or the drawing, etc. You know what upsets me when people say etc. or or uh, etc. I mean, it's it's etc. Just, just look it up. It's e t etc. All right. Enough of that. Um, Hands are hard, but if you break them down to uh, with these simple shapes, it sort of just fits together. If you if you only look at the shapes and forget that it's even a hand, then it's much easier to draw and paint and sketch and eat. You wouldn't eat it. You would draw it. You don't eat hands. Don't eat hands. That's cannibalism. Um, all right. So yeah, it's sort of just developing and happening. Um, this also works great if you're painting uh, landscapes or from life uh, because you force yourself to kind of uh, look at everything in terms of simple shapes and that's where the magic is. Like it's always nicer when you see those paintings that have really simple um, uh, brushwork or simple shapes and it looks complex but really if you if you zoom out and look at certain ones it really uh it's really not that much stuff happening also i'm i'm drawing and talking at the same time which is kind of kind of hard sometimes da 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 do da 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 do da um so yeah you know we we were like earlier we're like yeah this this is a this is a rectangle so when I went to do this, I'm like, yeah, that's a rectangle. I wasn't about to be like, oh, well, you know, what are, th what are these little fingers here? Like, no, oh, is that like uh, the palm? No, is this going to... No, I don't care. No, this is a rectangle for now. <laughs> All right, we'll figure the rest out later. Or we won't because I might just simplify it and do it with one brush stroke so that I, yeah, won't have to do it. Um, yeah, yeah. I really hope it's actually recording the audio it's happened before where i did a whole video and it wasn't recording um in fact i'm i'm gonna stop this in a second and double check because that would be awful yeah yeah we're good it was recording all right okay um, 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 um okay so this is you know i i don't like to get you know super duper detailed with this part like i'm not gonna be like okay so um What's the eye? Oh, it's something like this, and so, you know, like I don't like to get into detail right away. Um, instead, I'll I'll do a block in of of the actual painting, 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 painting. Um, let's kill that. And so, color. How do, how, how are we gonna do this? Um, well, I could just color pick it, but everyone's gonna be like, "Oh my god, that's cheating, man." Uh, whatever. I know where all the colors are, so it doesn't. Uh, all right, I'll just I'll just do it the the, the hard way. Um, I'm gonna lay down a wash of burnt sienna for those of you oil painters. You know what's up. Although that's more of an orange. Let's uh, go with some like that. Yeah, why not? Okay, yeah. Do, 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 do. Sure, yeah, cool. That, that's something. Um, and, yeah, it's already kind of coming together in my mind. Um, I'm just gonna figure out what that skin tone is. What is that like? Something like that. 
and just block it in. And look at that. Now, if the drawing wasn't there, it wouldn't be working like that so quickly. But the, the drawing actually does all the work for you. So just nail that in the first place, and then uh, it'll all come together. Now, I can already tell that it's, it's a bit off. I think I drew the face too big, but I'll go ahead and make that smaller later. Um, that's something I'll do down the line after I put the block in. in. All right, so the hair is like this reddish, goldish, you know, is it down over here somewhere. So we got like a deep red, um, but it's orangish. So um, if you, and if you uh, are curious about how to draw hair, uh, check out my other video um, link. I guess I'll put a link right here in the video. Yeah, so it should be on the screen. If it's not, then I forgot. Um, yeah. <clears throat> And then uh, there's some, some uh, deep darks happening in there. So uh, again, so also when I'm painting, I'm looking at uh, these shapes. So this right here, this dark part, is a triangle to me, right? Of course, in reality, it's more complex than that. But when I when I'm painting things, I like to simplify it. So I'm just going to put a triangle there. Yeah. I wonder what Tommy had for dinner. I guess I'll find out tomorrow. Okay, and then so the bed sheet, or the towel, whatever she's on. It looks like a blanket. So it's similar to the skin tone. So another thing I, I do sort of as a shortcut, I don't feel like looking for the color every time. I'll look for the nearest color that's already on my palette or my painting, and then just shift away from that accordingly. Yeah, the head is huge. <laughs> uh, talk about being accurate. Whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect right away. It, and that's why it's a study. Like, you pick up on these things and fix them along the way. And the purpose of the study for me is to learn something. It's not to get it super accurate and show off and po post it on, on online to get likes and whatever I don't I mean I do care of course we're all human we like we're all um, narcissists right but you know the reality is like when I'm doing this it's like I what can I learn from this image um, and so far I'm, I'm, I'm already enjoying it and honestly I like it like just the way it is right now I would leave it and just be like yeah it's a piece of art here we go but but let's keep going um, for the sake of the tutorial um, you know what I'm gonna go ahead and make the head smaller now using the lasso tool, selecting out. And what I'm gonna do is cut that onto its own layer, right? And I'm gonna make it smaller. Mas pequeño, como se dice en español? Um, that means everything else has to shift up a bit. That ruins everything. So I'm just gonna bring this down and then I bring everything else up. And Basically, all I had to do was make the hand smaller, but since I like doing things the hard way, I didn't do that, so bada bing, bada boom. All right, also, I flip it a lot, so yeah. Let's go ahead, yeah, look at that. Um, and so then, uh, I'm just gonna indicate those highlights, like these, uh, you know, there's a highlight that happens um, here, 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 there, and there. A little bit here. Um, and the reason you should know this is because, well, I mean, it's not the same at, for every reference that you look at, but uh, just kind of analyze each reference so that you know um, where the hotspots are so that you can simplify it. What I mean by that is if we were to, here, let, it's probably better if I really up the contrast. So if we were to make shapes out of these highlights, all right, that's a diamond, you know, there's a circle, there's a triangle, another triangle, a uh, circle with uh, sort of in a rectangle, and this is a bit of a triangle, you know, a rectangle and, and a bigger 
thing. But so even at the high key level, so if we even push it up like this, it has like every every shape on your painting is going to have shapes within shapes. So remember that. Bilbo Baggins. All right. Um, so I'm going to quickly loosely indicate that because I'm, I'm not trying to be accurate right away. Um, so I know there's something there. I know there's something there. Look at that diamond there. That was a triangle here. Triangle there. There. And this by the way, is the foundations of getting that painterly look. It's by doing actually less work. Most people think it's, uh, you know, to get that painterly look, you have to be all photo hyper-realistic, bro. No, 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 no. Um, in my opinion, it's it's less brush work so that you have all these faceted um, planes. Um, yeah. All right, so we need some warmth in there to represent the warmth of the skin color. Let's go. So I picked the the base color that I already, that I already have. I'm just going to lower it so that I can compare it when it has when it's next to each other where it says new and current, new and current. All right, so uh no, I want it to be darker. And I like to exaggerate, so Again, I'm looking at the shapes. Um, so, all of this, as as specific as that is, I just turned it into a rectangle because I I don't care. <laughs> uh, yeah, and so you know, keep doing that everywhere. Everybody everywhere, just doing rectangles and triangles. Why would you do anything else? Cause painting is fun. All right, and then, yeah, the lips, yada yada. All right, and at this point, I'm like, okay, we got a face. I, I'm liking it. We, uh, we're getting somewhere here. I'm gonna flip it again so that it looks fresh. So fresh and so clean, clean. Ain't nobody dope as me. I'm just so fresh. Um, all right. So at this point, I will actually lower the opacity of the line work. At least in the places that I already. Is it on multiply? No, it's, it's the same. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to lower the opacity of the line work. And sort of work on top of it. No, under it. Okay. This is when I would start zooming in and kind of uh, allowing myself to be focusing on more detail. So, um, what is the shape of the nostrils? Well, they're not oink oink like friggin' pig nostrils. You know, they don't look like that. <laughs> oh, that that's bad. Yeah. So don't do that. Um, you gotta pay attention to the shapes of the nostrils. And in this particular one, from this angle, what they are are triangles. Here we go. And then guess what? That's another triangle. Oh, and look at this, another triangle. Right? Oh, there's a right here. Um, <clears throat> so let's keep that in mind. Uh, so. We got that first triangle for the nostril. We got the other one here. And oh, this is a uh, not the brush I wanted. So yeah, I mean, I'm not being super accurate. I'm just being kind of uh, artsy about things. I'm just kind of establishing what this stuff is. Um, that's ab that's in the painting. Um, I like to zoom out sometimes when I'm placing in those big shapes. So for the eye, the reason is if I was to zoom in like this and try to draw the eye, you know, what I'm think what I'm referring to is I would actually start with the eyelashes being uh, one shape like this. Um, but if I was to do it like this, all zoomed in, I'll zoom out and then kind of notice it's not. Um, I mean, it might work, but. I'd like to see everything around it so I know how it should be relative to everything else, to all the other shapes that I put on. So I'd, you know, 
Although that was pretty close. Um, yeah. Then the eyebrows. Don't make them pencil thin. Those always look bad. Girls, if you're if you're watching this and you make your eyebrows like super pencil thin, we need to have a talk. <laughs> it it doesn't it doesn't look good. I I don't know why some some girls do that. I mean, no, no, to each his own, to each her own. You know, you do what you want, you do you. But from an artist's perspective, I I just it just looks weird and artificial, right? Um. Shut up. You don't have a right to talk about girls' makeup. You're not a girl. You know what it's like to be a girl. All right. R relax. All right. I take it back. All right. And then uh, uh, another thing. So when I'm doing the eyes, I think that was way off. See, I was zoomed in and I was just screwing up my whole thing in the jig. Um, again, so how do I simplify the pupils into shapes? And the mistake would be to draw circles like that, right? But in reality, if we look at it, it's it's kind of just a, another rectangle and another rectangle um, and trust me that just makes things a lot easier down the line so there's one rectangle there and we can round it off later but the point is to start with the simple shape and look at that it's just all coming together yeah 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 um, now it doesn't look like her for now, and that's okay. Some might say, like, oh, it should look like her from the beginning. Well, yeah, sometimes, but it, you try talking and explaining what you're doing and doing that at the same time. Man. All right, so right now I'm, I'm refining the jaw, and it's way off. And so, see, this line work makes it look like she got like a stash. Yeah, yeah, so sometimes I'll just go ahead and get rid of the line work that I started with. This is just not cooperating. And then the uh, same thing with the lips. Um, 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 um. All right, so yeah. Yeah, all right, so back to this. So again, we, uh, Start with the big shapes and you subdivide into smaller shapes. Take some practice. You know, don't, don't be discouraged if you know you try it and you don't nail it right away. Um, let's keep trying. I forgot to turn this thing off. Okay. Yeah, it's looking fun. Kind of pop arty, right? Um, yeah. So when you turn off, you, you know it's it's all working when you turn the. The, uh, the line work off and is still holding together because it started with the line work and the line work is the foundation right it kind of looks like those old uh, 1970s uh, James Bond um, movie posters which is pretty cool I'm down with that so that triangle I got we gotta want it. Okay, so also, um, because hands are tough, I'd recommend studying hands by uh, J.C. Leyendecker. I'll put that um, on the screen. Uh, and so, again, so for this, I'm just seeing very simple rectangles when I'm filling that part in. And so when we when we transfer that information to over here, it's just. You know, they're, they're loose indications, because again, I'm not trying to be a hyper-realist here, because I, I don't care about that stuff. Um, <clears throat> this is actually looking pretty fun. I like this. All right, not bad. Not bad, Ahmed, not bad. Pat on the back. Mm. 
I'm gonna zoom out and start kind of simplifying things a bit. So, what do we learn today? Um, a study, in, according to me, is um, an opportunity to learn something from your reference, and it doesn't have to be super accurate. In fact, you can define what you want to learn from a piece before you do it, so you don't have to be like trying to be all accurate. But instead, you might want to learn how to do color, or um, maybe the intent of your study session is to nail down those simple shapes uh, for for a couple uh, couple hundred drawings, right? Um, because even for me, like doing that process took me a while to uh, get used to. I'm gonna go ahead and erase most of the line work on the face since it's already doing the work with the painting. Think about when things were right when they were young and veins were tight and. If you are the ghost of Christmas past, and won't you spend the night? Um, Regina Spector, she's great. Uh, so yeah, right now I'm going to go ahead and just start refining things. I mean, all of the necessary information is there. I mean, when we zoom out, it's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's not perfectly accurate, but it, it's kind of it has the main stuff that... Um, that that defines what the image is. Um, <clears throat> also, when you zoom out and you have your reference zoomed all the way out, you can also simplify things even further um, as you're looking at them, so that you don't get too caught up in what stuff actually is. I think the head is still too big, and it. <laughs> I don't know if her arm is actually that short, but it looks kind of stubby. Wait. Oh, see, okay, so it's in perspective. And she's actually twisting. See, I was so caught up in just the shapes that I forgot, like, what was actually happening in the... Le image. Is that French for image? Any French speakers? Confirm? Okay. Uh, Alright, yeah. So, by the way, you, you saw that I flattened this all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the blender brush. The mixer brush. So it's over here on the left, and it's the fourth one down. Okay, so what, what does this do? So if we were to use a just regular round brush, it kind of smudges things around, and it makes this three-dimensional snake come at you, but it never actually reaches you, right? Um, but if you were to use a bristle brush, it does the same thing, but it allows you to also do that kind of stuff, and that's what we're looking for. Um, and fine, fine, I'll upload my brushes. They're really no different than what you already have, probably. But people keep asking me, and I'm just like, ah, okay. Um, all right, so um, I'm looking at, so I know, I know that these highlight shapes are there, but certain edges of them are blurred. And I know that this side of it is blurred, so... I, I'm, I should use the word blended, not blurred. Um, even though they're both pretty much the same thing in this context. So yeah, you kind of. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't like blend this all the way the same way I did for the other edge because if we look at it over here, it's it kind of stops and there's like a straight edge happening against that nose. So I am gonna blend it a bit, but not the same way. So I'm going to let it stay rough a bit. Um, and yeah, so, you know, I think I learned how to do this by painting with oils. You can kind of do this with oil painting. It's, more, it's pretty uh, yeah, liberal. Uh, uh, you, can, you can pretty much um, smudge wet paint around pretty easily if you're painting with oils. So that's where that comes from. Um... Yeah, and then you sort of just see it happen and come together. Now, here on the nostrils, and I knew this from the beginning, and I'll say this right now before I fix it. Uh, I used a a black color when it should be more of a red, you know, deep red tones. So I'll I'll end up fixing that. But and it's a mental note I put I, I made earlier. I'm just uh, 
leaving it alone for now. And yeah, I kind of like this process where you put down something that's sort of correct, or even sometimes wrong on purpose, so that you can edit it later. And so what did I learn from this um, this study? Let's, I don't know, I guess we'll, we'll see at the end. So I'll switch between the, the mixer brush and the regular brush so that I can edit and add pixels. Dust pixels. All right, let's that the uh, the nostrils are bothering me. I'll just do that right now. So as I remember, they were almost triangular, something like that. Another one goes there, and in between them is another triangle. And yeah, so it's it's just a back and forth process, uh, at least for me. Um, and, and it starts to feel like it's a traditional illustration if you do it this way. And um, because this is how you would do it if you were doing it on paper or canvas, in terms of uh, layering, shape language, etc. Uh, yeah, if I just get quiet when I'm painting, that means I'm that means I'm in the zone, bro. Yeah, look at it. That's just like all come together. And uh, so when I'm doing this, I'm also ping ponging my eyes back and forth. Um, not not for everything, but like when I want to compare something, all I have to do is look really fast at each one and then just pray that the shapes are right. Okay, but yeah, so yeah, look at that. That's, uh, and it seems like her eyebrows are too dark in my painting. So let's go ahead and fix that. And they're actually a tad bit the wrong shape, but who's gonna measure? Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> and, you know, I could do an embarrassing thing and actually overlay the reference photo on top of my drawing, or my painting, and show you just how incorrect and off it is. And I could also show you how much I don't care <laughs> uh, about accuracy really I mean if if it was my intent to study accuracy then yeah I would actually you know take the time and do really specific contour and all that stuff but I, I just don't enjoy it and it comes and for me it comes down to doing what I enjoy and right now I enjoy the the very fluid flow of just painting this and uh, Letting the organic process take over. And it gives it more character, I think. If you if you kind of like spend the time to get it perfectly accurate and you make it look like the photo, guess what? It's gonna look like a photo. <laughs> Why would you want that? It's it's always mind boggling when people are like, um, oh my god, it looks like a photo. I thought it was the photo. That's kind of an insult to artists. It's like, well, no, I interpreted this with my eyes, not not a photo. Well, I mean, okay, I guess right now I'm using a photo as reference, but like if if an artist paints something from life and uh, someone's like, oh, it looks like a photo. It's actually one of the most annoying things that you could say. Oh, yeah. I'm going to fix the lips. Just Just give me a moment. Relax. You're in a deep 
Maybe, just maybe, I probably, maybe shouldn't have had um, coffee at 8 p.m. <laughs> it happens sometimes. Because it's like, you know, I, I moved to Seattle and the coffee here is just so good. I didn't even know what coffee was until I came here. I swear it's like the best ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that... That hand is going to be so annoying to draw. I admit it. Hands hands are boring to draw. Well, not boring, but they're a challenge every time. Because um, unlike the face, the hand has so many different configurations and, and shapes happening. Uh, so it's never the same. At least with like the face, it's always like either head-on or, you know, uh, side, portrait, or even from under. It's not too bad. But like the hand... Uh, you know, it has a full like 360 degree circular ro rotation almost, not 360 degree, but you get what I'm saying. And uh, so that that results in so many different combinations of um, shapes and direction. Oh, I just don't even want to do it, <laughs> but I'm doing it. Uh... But luckily, we nailed it down with the shapes um, early. You know, we just put that rectangle there, and the rest is just kind of uh, a little bit of effort. But it's it's guesswork, not guesswork, but ping pong in your eyes and, and you know letting the pieces fit. I know the pieces fit. I like Tool. Tool's a great band. Any Tool fans here? Say I. Hope they come out with a new album. You know, they said they would. But James is all busy with his other bands. Perfect Circle, whatnot. I'm sure to like some people listening, this is all total nonsense. Because they're into like One Direction or something. Uh. Alright, um, okay. I am a stockbroker. So, doing the hair, you know, this is referencing my how to paint hair video. Everything is a ribbon. So, yeah, it's going to catch the highlight in a certain way. And yeah, so everything is just a building block on top of each other. Um, but the important thing is, is to establish those main big shapes as um, as the foundation to work from. I talk sometimes like Christopher Walken. Now, all right. So what did I just do there? Let me just undo that. Um, so we had this highlight here. We established that it goes there. Um, but then what? So how do you, you know, the, dang it, stupid wrong brush. <laughs> okay, there it is. Um, so here, here's the highlight, right? But like, which way do you blend it, right? So, but we can see that the top part is, is a straight edge but all the rest of the highlight is blended out to make the the form language of the chin. So let's keep that in mind when we blend this. And I'm actually going to make it a little bit higher. And the lips are going to go there somewhere. So I'm going to keep it as a solid shape and then watch what happens when I follow through with what I just said about the uh, blending directions. Yeah, and by just by sort of leaving that top part alone, it it, it does the trick. 
Yeah, this is, this is looking good. I'm, I'm kind of proud of this. I'm rarely proud of my own work. That's the thing. I'm sure if you're an artist, you get it. It's like all artists are like the worst own critiques or something like that. Let's let's get all right. So another shape that I saw. Let me gonna let me gonna let me just uh, the um, step. Okay, so this is a triangle. Look at that. Right now, although the the contour line is like something like this, right? Um, I'm also looking at the edge of the shadow shape. So this is what I'm seeing. And then it, it'll get, you know, divided like that. But what I'll do, you know, remember that shape, because when I bring it over here, I'm just going to give it a one of those, right? And when you zoom out, it almost feels like it's the same thing. Almost. It doesn't have to be the same thing. And it's actually higher. And this should be there. But the point is... Uh, simplify the shape and then like I said cut in with that line you know like that and then we can figure out which way which, which direction everything is blended in and I could try and guess okay everything to the left side is gonna be blurry so like that and then it sort of does this something like that And that is uh, one of the neck muscles that connects to your collarbone. I once had a, a drawing teacher who was, I think, from China. And he kind of had a hard time with names. And <laughs> this, one, this one dude, his name was Caleb. Um, but when, he tried to pronounce, when the teacher tried to pronounce his name, he, he was saying, Caleb, ca ca oh, it's a lot like collarbone because he was an anatomy teacher. So he like called him collarbone for the rest of the semester, poor guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Art school. Um, so here we can notice that this line is far too much on the right. Um, how do I know that? I think because, or maybe it's that the, this thing is far too much on the left. Yeah, I'm just gonna move this over that way. Hey man, you're cheating. You can't do that in real life with real oil paint, so don't use the lasso tool. Um, right, right, right. You know, people probably don't think that, but I'm just paranoid in in a way because I've I've always been around. Uh, a lot of uh, arrogant artists are judging other people for doing certain uh, painting methods and everyone everyone has their own opinion about how everything should be done but honestly do whatever you want um, I mean I work at a, a video game company and I design characters and all the fun stuff but it doesn't matter how I do it as long as I get it done and make it look awesome they're not going to be like, well, hey, hold up. Did you use a photo texture here? You know, that's that's really unethical. <laughs> Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Um, so here's another thing. Um, there are these little highlights at the bottom side of the top lip thingy. Right. Right here. You see, they're sort of shaped like that. I know it might be hard to see, but once you get the practice of it, you'll be like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, I, I know what Ahmed's talking about. He's not actually crazy. I think Tommy probably had Korean food. He's Korean. Korean food is delicious. You know, it's, uh, you got the kimchi, you got the yukgejang, you got the, the bibimbap. Man, it's all really good. You know, I I fell in love with Korean food pretty quickly just after the first few times at the Korean restaurante. I mean, how could you not? It's delicious. Um, 
I don't like to try new foods. I like to stick to just burgers and pizza. All right, well, I mean, you know, that's cool. It's cool. But, you know, you're missing out. Obviously, I have multiple personalities stuck in my brain. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm not explaining what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going in and refining this stuff. This stuff, this stuff. All right, one thing that is sticking out to me is that the eyebrow, this one here, is kind of not symmetrical with the other one. Meaning, okay, if I draw a line down like this, and then I was to draw a line like that, um, let's say that's the one I want to reference. If I um, mirror it over, you know, I'll just draw a line across, Another one, um, like, okay, this is how you mirror something over. Um, you have the center line, and you draw an X, you draw a line so you get the halfway point, and then you get the exact spot over here, so that now these two are the same size, so you know where that is. So we know that the eyebrow is actually supposed to start over here, somewhere. Um, and then it goes up and touches there somewhere. We could also um, mirror that over something like that. <clears throat> right. Uh, so on and so forth. But it's you can see how off that is. So I'm just going to go ahead and erase all this and then leave behind very lightly the new drawing. And underneath it, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill that in. something like that. Well, I think like it's better than it was, right? A little bit, no? Okay. <laughs> I say okay after every time I do an impression or a voice. It's pretty much the exact same thing <laughs> that I had before. <laughs> uh, okay. Um... Nothing else to say about that. Okay, let's just keep blending. Just keep blending, just keep blending, 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 blending. Uh, I have... I met some people. Well, I'm not going to mention any names, but they haven't... They haven't seen Finding Nemo. You know, it's like, I wonder, like, how... I mean, we strive to be happy in life, right? And that's a movie that I, it makes makes you feel good, right? And then they, they go on living their life, not ever having seen Finding Nemo. What are you doing with your life? What are you reading? What are you getting smart, making money? Psh, whatever. Huh. Hmm. One thing that you should... Uh, Wow, actually, now, now that I flipped it, I saw how, how wildly asymmetrical the eyes are. Let's, uh, let's highlight this awful mistake of mine. Maybe that's why the eyebrows zoomed off. So, here's the nose. Here's the mouth. Here's the chin. Here's the center line. And if, oh boy, if we draw the line, like, look, it's not even, not even close. <laughs> oh boy, how did that even happen? So let's just, okay. 
we can fix this because we're in Photoshop. What I'm going to do, and see, this is this is why you do studies. You pick up on like what, which areas you need to work on. And clearly, I need to be better at symmetry and shape language. Yeah, let's move it down. There we go. I'll probably rotate it a bit. Let me go ahead and turn that off. And yeah, much better. No, it's not. Now it's just way too low. Ah. You know what? I'm gonna find a happy medium. Me, mid, middle, mid, uh. median. What is that saying? Hold on, I have to look it up. Up. Uh. Yeah, yeah, it's happy a happy medium. A way of doing something which is good because it avoids being extreme often and between. Okay. To find a happy medium. Now, see this this study is teaching me English language speaking skills. Is that is that good? That, that's that's all right. I think once I refine the actual paint strokes, uh It'll start to look even better. Um, see, because like on the left, I have this line below, but on the right, I don't have that. And that, that also causes it to seem a bit asymmetrical. So let's just go ahead and add that. Any girl who's a pro at makeup probably picks up on that pretty quickly. Or any guy who does makeup art as well, you know. Some some dudes do that, right? Some guys are nurses. Some guys uh, do uh, girly things. There you go again, being all sexist, you pig. Whatever. See, a lot, a lot of my uh, thinking power right now is telling me to just leave it like this. You know, you don't want to paint those hands. Look at them. They're so complex. Just walk away, man. <laughs> walk away and nobody gets hurt. But no, I got a trooper through for you guys. So you can see that it can be done as not perfect as it's going to be because around here we don't go for perfect we go for let's learn new things well I do say so it does look like a study to me and certainly not in photograph um what else can I talk about? Um, all right, yeah, so I just saw another thing. Um, there's a couple subdivisions happening over here. So we have... Uh, nope, let's go with that. This highlight shape, and then it goes down into something like that. And then this... Let's just make an extreme version. Those two highlights are relative to each other, so that's what I was talking about earlier. Um, like without this in-between shadow, and it's not really a shadow; it's just slightly darker. Um, it would not work as well. So, keeping that in mind, you know, we have this big highlight on the left, and we. We were like, you look, there's, there's a triangle here, so let's just go ahead and draw that triangle. And fill that in. And we know that at the tip of that triangle, there was some kind of shape like this. And then just put that background in a bit. And yeah, so of course it doesn't look right right now because it's not blended, so let's just blend it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Boom. You did it. Boom. Booyah, booyah. All right, hands aren't too bad, but sometimes they get annoying. 
in fact, I was actually thinking of doing a portrait series of like hands. Like they would, um, <laughs> it would be like a hand portrait. So it's like you would, you'd have like a a shirt, you know, a tie, eh, I don't know something. But like I would do a series of like different <laughs> hands. You know, it was the good old like talking hand. You know, it was the pinky. You know, something like that. And then, like, it would just, like, be so funny, because it's so dumb. And you would have a series of them. And from that, it would be a study in itself of how to paint hands. I mean, look at that. It's already, it has so much character. He's like, this guy's probably like, if you're looking in the yearbook and you saw this guy, you're like, yeah, he, he's the science teacher. Um, not that it's a bad thing. Science is great. All my science teachers were awesome. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, this tie is going to be stripes, of course. And then you could, you could be like, you know, if you were all fancy, you could be like, Hey, <laughs> how's it going? <laughs> nah. <laughs> My name is Mr. Hand. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm done with that. Okay. Um, but we're going to keep that on its own layer so we can uh, save that for later. Um, back to the pretty girl. Back to the pretty girl indeed. Uh, so this area is all red. <laughs> Did you see it? The hand was moving and it was talking. So it was a hand. I do it, man. You know, that's it's almost there. It's almost there. Only a few more brush jokes, I'm sure. I'm sure of it. Then it will read like a hand. If you're the type to like zoom in and paint it pixel by pixel. You and I cannot be friends. I don't. I don't want to be around you. <laughs> like, why would you? That's so annoying. No, it's not annoying. It's just like it's annoying. I cringe when I think about doing it myself. So I'm like, how could anyone choose to go like super zoomed in, hyper realistic, pixel by pixel? I just don't want to do that ever. I instead prefer this like loose indicated. Um, approach where you allow the brain, you know, when when you look at something, your uh, your brain kind of finishes it for you because you can zoom out and it automatically thinks there's all this detail there, but there really isn't. That I think that's the magic of having that painterly effect. Um, yeah. So I'm not using the, the blender brush anymore. Instead, I'm just using this guy. And I'm just like lightly painting with it. <laughs> Wait, let's, let's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. All right. This is this is gonna be tough. So let's kind of see if we can simplify the the hair. And you know, it's been upsetting me that this is a smaller image. Going to keep having to resize my brush. So I'm just going to shoot this up to 4000. Um yeah. Boom. Yeah, okay. Uh so yeah, let's let's go ahead and simplify the the hair here. Now we you know, if we zoom out cuz that, you know, when you zoom out it's when you can see the shapes more easily. So there's just a triangle here, and there's some kind of shape there. And then a, I guess a, it's a loop thing here, but if we turn that into a triangle, we can see that happening. So, right. I'm dreading this. I know it's going to suck, but let's uh, do that again. So we got one triangle there, um, a strand here. 
I, like in my in my mind, I'm still seeing those big shapes. So don't worry. So it's something like that. So now I don't need that anymore. I just kind of got it in my muscle memory ish. So I remember there was like a, a triangle like that, right? And there was a, another shape here, and it was a, a loop that was within a triangle. going like this Yeah, see how much easier it is if you simplify it with shapes first? Go ahead, try it. I dare ya. Let's go ahead and turn that off. 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 Coffee. I bought. I bought this thing in a line. I stood online and bought the coffee. That's how New Yorkers talk. Instead of saying, I'm standing in line, they say, I'm standing online. I hope Steven's not listening to this. What is that music coming from? I hate it when DeviantArt, like, attacks me with music ads. You might say, well, you know, why do you leave the tab open? It's because I have, like, a thousand tabs open, and I don't know where, which browser it's in, I mean, which, which window. Um, yeah, we don't have to talk about that right now. Well, I hope you guys are having fun. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't want this to be a, a boring experience. I mean, my, my intent here is that you see this happening. You're seeing how I'm thinking and, and using all these little tricks to make a, a painting, a study. And what I want to happen is for you to be able to do that too. And at the same time, uh, you know have a laugh or two, right? Because laughter is just, you know, it, make, it makes everything better. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. But I could be like, you know, one of those boring uh, YouTube artists be like, okay, hey guys, um, welcome to my tutorial. Uh, I, uh, I'm just going to talk for a minute and the rest is going to be sped up. And uh, here we go. This is my uh, brush stroke. And then it's just like music. And it, ugh, there's the music again. All right, I'm gonna find it. Okay, I couldn't find where it was coming from, but it's one of the tabs that I have open. So there's this actually a um, thing that I usually save to the last, to the end, um, and it's the the highlight in the eyes. And I'll show you in a moment why I save it to the end. And it has nothing to do with what I'm doing right now. I just got <sighs> squirreled. What does it mean to get squirreled? Well, if you've ever seen the movie Up, <laughs> and the and Doug and you know, all the all the dogs, whenever they see a squirrel, they're like squirrel. And they all look and get distracted. That that's what happens to me. I learned that from my friend Marcus the other day. Alright. It was funny. I laughed when he did that. Alright. There's something wrong happening over here on the left side. I'll show you that out later. There's the music again. See, like it, it, the music stops before I can even go in and see like where the little music icon is happening. So it's like evil, evil. 
Hmm. Oh, okay. What was I saying about the eye? I don't know, but I'm going to blend these edges here. Now, this area, um, I could go in there and like transfer all that detail, but I could just leave it as is without refining it. And it and it all and it still reads as a hand, so I really don't need to do that. I mean maybe a little bit, but if you can get the image to read um uh without too much information, then I think you're on the right track. And by information, I mean like, you know, going in there and painting everything all specific. Oh, okay. So yeah, the eye thing. Um, well, I guess right now I'm going to go ahead and blend the eyes a bit because I never did that just yet. I like to actually let the pupils be a bit uh, blended in instead of being super sharp. If you <laughs> if you've ever seen like uh, those uh, <clears throat> contacts that certain people wear, I guess cosplayers wear them. Um, but the edge is super sharp and it just looks really scary and and weird. All right, I found where I found where the music was coming from. I took care of it. I know you were all worried, but but I took care of it. It's gone now. It's gone. Uh, okay, the highlight thing. You don't even need the reference for this. Um, when you have an image and it's you know not finished, but you go ahead and put the that spectacular specular eye highlight. Look at that. It automatically sort of makes it feel finished. And the reason I put it off to the end is because I don't want the image to feel finished while I'm working on it. Um, and it's just like a thing that I do subconsciously. Um, I mean, sometimes I, I go ahead and put it, but this allows me to like save it till the end, you know, best for last, the cherry on top, that kind of thing. Just kind of referencing the reference and painting. There's something wrong with the eyes. Maybe, maybe it all it will all come together in the end. I gotta work on the lips, I didn't even touch them. Okay. So there's like a line over here. And I'm not even gonna bother with the teeth, cause F that. I'm just gonna put some white here and call it a day. Um, it seems like it goes a bit more towards the cool reds as it makes a turn on the top. got that uh, lip gloss or lipstick highlight happening and it's not pure white um, you could use pure white but it's more like something like that and um, you kind of just what I like to do is uh, on its own separate layer so if you have a new layer um, just draw lines like this and you might zoom out and be like, hey, that's that's not right. Um, you just erase out. Yeah, like that. 
like I said, it's indication. You don't have to be perfectly accurate. And now when you zoom out, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and then you can go on top of it and be more slightly accurate. that down and bring that uh, mixer brush back alright my dog's ready I'm gonna name him ham banana that's good enough for me Something wrong with the chin down here. Also, that. Yeah. I think the top lip needs to be brighter. Just a tad. There seems to be some kind of a shadow up top like that, on either side, actually. I'm going to blend that. And there's actually also a shadow here. Making sure to maintain the shapes of those triangles. Look, the highlight is actually in there too. And yeah, so I mean, yeah, if you watch this and you know, pick up the uh, this uh, method and you kind of uh, learn it, and then what happens is you're going to end up, after practicing it, you're going to end up uh, coming up with your own ways to do things, and you might take things further than I did, or you know, you might see things differently. And that's the beauty of this. Like even if you tried to copy this one for one, it's going to be end up being different and better, and and that's uh, that's just the way it is. So yeah, I'd, I'd recommend thinking in layers. And now I'm going to actually put in some dark, more kind of like black. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Alright, back to the chin. I'm going to go ahead and use the liquify tool to handle the chin. I just want to smudge it over to the right a little bit. So this is before and after.
the um, fingers ought to have cast shadows onto the face. Sorry if things are getting a little bit quiet around here. I'm sort of painting away right now. That's right, I'm, I'm Matthew McConaughey. I'm going to space. That's that's just a really bad hand. That's why I don't paint hands, all right? They always end up really bad, always. And don't even get me started about fingernails. Like, come on. <laughs> They're so, I don't want to draw them. I wonder if like uh, all the classic masters always also had that, you know, like John Singer Sargent, he was like, oh, I, I don't want to paint hands. Maybe. I hope so. Makes me feel better. I like it. I like where it's going. Sadly, I don't think it looks like the the girl too much in the portrait. I mean, in the photo reference, but it's close enough. Uh, likeness is a whole other thing that, that you could study. It's a difficult thing. I mean, it's sort of close, but yeah. <clears throat> to the artistically trained eye, you can sort of see how it's not perfect. Oh, and here's the other problem. There's two hands. <sighs> Why? I mean, I'm, I'm thankful for my hand. I mean, my hands. But, um, when it comes to drawing them, I'm like, oh, man. But you know, I should take my own advice. Don't draw hands, just draw the shapes that make the hands. Right, it's just that easy. Hmm.
All right, yeah, that was a pretty long uh, bout of silence. Um, <clears throat> I was really getting into it. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, drop in those eyeball eyeball highlights. Now, over here, it's like, if we look at the reference, we can see that the highlight is like in the top left part of the black. But I kind of like to take liberties and, and choose my own spot to put it um, because you know you could put it here and you could put like a smaller one here to indicate the turn um, there's a little bump there um, actually in real life um, also you can put it on the other side and when you zoom out it has a nicer effect so I'll just go ahead and do that again It makes it feel like really glossy, like it's glass, Glo glossy gla glass, gloss, glossy, glass. And yeah, <clears throat> there you have it. Now, I personally would consider this to be a study, right? It's not a one-to-one -one accurate painting. Uh, actually, there's a couple more things I gotta do. Uh, this part should be blended more like that. I was going to add the freckles, but I'm genuinely not feeling it right now. That's like, nah. Hmm. Well, anyway, there you have it. That's, um, that's my how to do a study in the painterly fashion of a photo. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, sorry I haven't done uh, any more videos otherwise. Um, but yeah, uh, stay tuned and stick around and hopefully there'll be more soon. Adios.